Hey everybody, there is no new interview today for a couple of reasons. The first is that you got a new interview yesterday, um, you actually got two of them. You need to finish your interviews before you get new interviews, so go back and re-watch the two interviews with Fid McAwesome, thoroughly worth it. Uh, the second reason is because honestly, I have not had the mental capacity today to be able to do it. It has been a struggle over the last week, um, and for me personally, the whole year has been I think the only real way to describe it is a clusterfuck. Like everything this year feels like it's just piling up one on top of the other of bad things happening that just seem to keep on ticking along. Honestly, true story. I actually have here a film script that I wrote uh, sort of beginning of this year, late last year, that I absolutely love. And I am too scared to go out and start the process of trying to get it made because... Everything that I seem to touch this year turns to absolute dog shit, and I don't want that to happen to that project. I like it too much. But I digress. The whole reason for this video today is to talk about mental health. Last week was Mental Health Awareness Week, and I think it's really easy to forget when you don't see it in your face all the time that there are resources out there to help you. Now, for me personally, I know this week has been really tough. Today's lockdown decision announcement was really weird and I don't know how to process it. Yes, uh, the weekend there was that massive protest by that absolute fucking monster Brian Tamaki, as well as a whole bunch of other ultra-conservative groups that were pushing people to go out there who were pushing them to do stupidly dangerous things like group mass gatherings without being vaccinated and without looking out for other people following health and safety messages. Um, and like it just gets in your head, like it totally gets in your head. And then my car battery died over the last couple of days as well, so I have to get a new one of those, which is always a problem because I can't drive down and pick one up because everything's closed. And then there was the cases that happened down in Hamilton and Raglan, where no information has shown up on the Ministry of Health website yet about what places of interest there are, and I've got friends and family that are down there, that's where I'm from. So it's a really stressful, kind of weird situation. And the way that I processed it, was today I just turned everything off and walked away and I watched a whole bunch of bad reality TV. Um, and that's fine. Like, that is absolutely fine. And how you process really horrible things happening all the time is very personal and very much up to you. Um, and there is no bad way of processing it as long as you process it and you find a way to work through it. And I think that's the key of what I'm trying to get to here. Um, I'm, like, I'm, I'm angry and I am frustrated, and I know how I process these things. People I've lived with, and people that I've loved who have s severe mental health issues, they process things differently, and it can be dangerous the way that people process things differently, through alcohol, through drugs, um, through self-harm. They're all ways that people I've known have dealt with the stress, and I really don't want anybody else to do that. So I'm just giving you a gentle reminder that I'm quite happy to listen. Feel free to give me a call if you need to give me a call. Um, there is actually a whole bunch of government helplines to help as well. Um, reach out to somebody, make sure that they're okay. Make sure that the people in your household are okay. Because it is a lot to process. Everything that's going on feels like a lot to process and you feel helpless because you're stuck at home or you're under restrictions. So please feel free to reach out to me or feel free to reach out to those around you. Um, I'm sure that they're going to want to be able to help you in any way that they can. Um, and at the same time, there are things that you can do to help others as well. Make sure that you're there listening when they need to talk. And please make sure you go out and get yourself vaccinated. And make sure you go out, when you go out, you're wearing a mask and that you're looking after yourself because that's also looking after other people. So I think that's it. Like this is a little bit of a ranty video and I'm very sorry for that. I don't like doing ranty videos. I was really tempted to do a whole ranty video on how the whole bunch of people that organized that protest have claimed $2.25 million in wage subsidies and you turn around and say the government's tyrannical. But you can do your own research and you've probably seen that on Facebook. Also, before I leave, fuck Brian Tamaki. Honestly, the guy is the biggest asshole. Biggest asshole. But that's enough of me. That's enough of my ranting. I'm going to wrap it up there. Go back and watch some other videos, and then what I'm going to do for tomorrow, um, I'm going to give you a, let you in on a little bit of a secret, if you haven't picked up on it. We've actually had Easter eggs hiding in all of the videos that we've put out so far, that we, I say we, it's me, I'm a one-man job here. 
But there are, I've got Easter eggs that have shown up in every one of the episodes that has gone out for the interview show. So I will show you what those Easter eggs are as a way of saying, you know what, you're fucking awesome and you deserve a treat and you should look after yourself better. So until tomorrow, I hope you have a great day. Please try and get out and get some exercise. I think that might be my problem. I'm not getting enough exercise. I will catch you tomorrow. All right then, bye.